All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're going to be installing the Party Limit Be Gone mod. This is a mod where you can go into your lobby settings when creating a new lobby, and it will allow you to create a lobby of up to eight people. If it's working correctly, I will warn you right now that as of right now, this thing is not working super great or guaranteed for everyone. Uh, it was last updated in October and it needs another update before it'll probably work properly again. So this is going to require you to install script extender, the Baldur's Gate 3 script extender, and it's also going to run off of the Vortex mod manager. If you have not used Vortex before, look up the Vortex mod manager on Nexus mods. It integrates directly with Nexus mods and it makes this whole process much easier. So download and install this, and then after that's done, you can download the Norbytes Baldur's Gate 3 script extender. You can either do it manually, or you can click on this button, which allows you to send it directly to the Vortex mod manager, because this, all, this mod manager itself, this is what it looks like, has the ability to have you download stuff directly when you log in both to Nexus mods and to the mod manager. You might also, with the mod manager, need to go to games, find Baldur's Gate in this list of games down here, and when you hover over it, you'll want to click Manage so that this launcher knows that you want it to control the mods for Baldur's Gate 3. Then it'll show up over here in the Baldur's Gate 3 section on your sidebar, and you'll have this lovely section for mods. So I'm going to assume that if you know how to use this button here to download it with Vortex, Amazing. First install Baldur's Gate 3 script extender, then install Party Limit Be Gone. From the files down here, you'll first want the Party Limit Be Gone that works with script extender version 2.6. And then you'll want to go down to the bottom here and download or install Party Limit Be Gone multiplayer patch version 1.3. This is what fixes things so that you can properly play with the new like mod supported version of the game. Although this is for patch seven, hotfix 28, and we're currently up to patch eight. So it might be a little bit yet before this mod properly works again. Uh, the other thing I would like to note is that there is some other information on the main description page for this mod about some things that can break the experience that you'll have to reduce your party size down to just a regular party size so that it doesn't like ruin your playthrough. But other than that, uh, this part right here, this important info read me at the top, there's nothing else you really need to know about this mod. Now I'm going to assume from here, if you're following along, that either you've already installed these by clicking the vortex downloads in the order I told you, or you put them in a folder on your computer. So if you put them in a folder on your computer, we're gonna start with the script extender, click and drag that inside of the tab here for Baldur's Gate 3, click on mods, it should look like this. And we're gonna drag and drop the zip file that it comes in, or the WinRAR file, into this little box at the bottom, which is gonna automatically install it for us because it's fancy. Now, when the script extender installs, it recommends that we double click on it and we scroll down in this little sidebar that pops up and we go down to mod type and make sure that the mod type is selected that says BG3, BG3SE. If it selects something else, this won't function properly. If it already has that selected, you don't have to mess with anything, and you can click on this yellow arrow at the bottom of the sidebar to close it. After that, we want to install Party Limit Be Gone SE. So that'll be the next one, and it should have a little pop-up that's like, yeah, you did it, congratulations, buckaroo. And then after that, we wanna finish off by installing the multiplayer patch, which is going to initially kick out an invalid installer error and then finish installing correctly. That just happens. And then the last thing we're gonna do is there is a button up here at the top that looks like a gear that says reinstall lslib slash divine. That's the divine tools that's used by a lot of mods in the background to make sure they don't conflict with each other and do other stuff. Uh, I don't necessarily know that this is required, but whenever I restart Vortex, it gets mad at me for not having it. 
So just to prevent any potentiality for conflict, we're just going to install this ourselves by clicking yes, and then we're gonna click download. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, just say replace the existing mod. If there is one, it's gonna have this little funny error that says we don't know what kind of mod source this is from, which is weird because they're the ones that installed it. But I'm just gonna double click this and then at the top here it says source. I'm gonna say we made it. And then I'm gonna close the sidebar again and then we should be good to go to launch Baldur's Gate 3. And then when you're creating a multiplayer lobby, if it's working correctly, it should give you the option to create an eight person lobby. All right, that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been a mostly successful look at how to install the Party Limit Be Gone mod for Baldur's Gate 3. I hope you found this helpful and got it to actually work properly for you. I did not. Um, there are some other people who have reported different fixes if you want to go to the forum section of Party Limit Be Gone, to their posts section, that have different fixes for it until the author updates the mod again. Um, otherwise, you kind of get what you get, uh, and hopefully if you have multiple friends trying to use it at the same time, it works for all of them as well. Because again, everyone has to be running the same mods for modding to work with Baldur's Gate 3. So bye everybody, and have a good one.